dollars and seventy three cents. But and the big but here, maybe there are some alternative <laughs> sources for gasoline. Oh, yeah, 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 that's what I'm here to talk about. There, are, there are, might be options for gasoline. And one of the things I want to talk to you about over the next few days is when we talk about gasoline and how it comes from crude oil, what else can we do uh, to make gasoline for the moment? And there are some options that are around. A few weeks ago, I mentioned to you that I'd spoken to the CEO of a company in South Africa called Sasol, which makes coal from uh, which makes gasoline from coal that's a coal rich country and more than half the gas in South Africa is actually made by this company well that can be done in the United States as well and we're looking into that uh, my colleague Deborah Farrick has a story on how that can be done but let's just discuss how you get gasoline from coal you basically start with coal which we have a great deal of in the United States you convert it into a waxy crude oil uh, so to speak which then goes through a refining process and becomes gasoline uh, the advantage of doing this is that it reduces the reliance on crude oil that we have uh, and the, the, the fuel that actually burns once you've made it into gasoline is cleaner than regular gasoline that you buy. It's very, very clean, in fact. The disadvantage, of course, is getting it to become that clean fuel uh, releases carbon dioxide. And uh, it, there are a lot of people who think that anything you do with coal is very dirty. So the process to make the clean oil can be very dirty. The demand, if this were to take off, could look a little like the demand for corn to make ethanol. What if we start using all of this coal for gasoline? Uh, and then the other problem is it will take years to implement this sort of thing in the U.S. We don't have factories that do this right now. There are discussions on the way the Air Force uh, would like to use this. They've certified all of their aircraft for using jet fuel that's made from coal. So there are, there are lots of things. There. It's a possibility. What it would do is re reduce our reliance on uh, crude oil. It's not necessarily cheaper. Uh, in fact, in the early stages, it would be quite expensive to do this. Do we know how expensive it would be? Well, uh, Sasol, the South African company, says that the cost of the cost of a gallon of gasoline extracted from coal would only be about two cents cheaper at the moment than the current price that we pay for gasoline, uh, because it's still it, you have to build infrastructure. In the early stages, it's very hard because you have to build infrastructure well, this is to get it there. It's an expensive. alternative. It's not more expensive, and it's an alternative. So right. yeah. again, there's lots of lots of discussion to have as to whether this Plus, is the of right course, thing like to do. like we saw with corn, the pressure, you know. Since that's the price of coal. That's the problem. The idea would be if you had a few options, and I'll discuss them with you through the course of the week, a few different things you could do instead of using crude oil, and that way nothing sends the price up too high of, of any of these commodities that you Look use. Look, this will be an educating week. We will try. It's always good to go home smarter than you came in. That's what I, that's not hard when you mean. <laughs> or me. However. Oh, I'm in between the two. Some guys. Men. Yeah. <laughs> At the desk. No, I mean, no. Okay, I'm not going there. But I will tell you.